Good morning, one and all. Richie Vida here on a first ride review of the Triumph Scrambler 1200 XC. It looks beautiful. Let's see what it rides like, shall we? Go on, let's go. Right, good morning. So we're on this Triumph Scrambler 1200 XC. I've wanted to ride one of these for ages. I'll tell you something, I feel instantly cooler just riding it. It looks the business. It's a lot taller than I expected. A lot taller. I'm almost on tiptoes actually. Stunning looking bike, definitely. It sounds lovely. I've not even um, opened it up properly yet. But what a stunning looking bike. Mirrors aren't much cop where they are. Not in the way a bit, your arms are in the way a bit. Oops, 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 oops. Try and get up here before any horses come down. Not entirely sure if I should be on here. But photo opportunity and all that. look best there that one oh. yeah definitely that way look at that let's quickly get this photo and we'll go I'm one for symmetry but I've got to say, I love that, the uh, the wonky one-sided pannier, and I love the seat, it's definitely a very cool looking bike. That um, guard there over the exhaust really kicks out some heat. But this time of year, that's lovely on your leg. But uh, in the summer, might not be. I can really feel that on my calf. It's got a lovely tone. Oops, spin it back in there. Traction control. Did its thing without making one bit of difference to the to the bike. Love the retro styling, love it. Like I said, I feel instantly cooler. I feel instantly a little bit closer to Steve McQueen. <laughs> that exhaust actually is very, very hot on your car. It's nice and quiet at tick over. horn like on it. Be a crap one, yep, it is. Why do manufacturers put crap horns on bikes? I don't understand. There's got to be some reason, because they're all the same. It must be that certain frequency of a horn that's perfect for people to hear or something, I don't know. Hi, right, mate. You, love you what? I love the old motorcycle. <laughs> this? Yeah. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. I don't like them on top. It's more immersive if you have it down here, because you can see you can see all this like you see. With helmet, you don't really see any of the rider at all, do you? You just see like whatever you're looking at. What? Well, it's my business. Got a YouTube channel. Richie Vida. Another subscriber just gained. <laughs> yeah, mate. Bless you. Thank you. Well, that's that's me. They're all videos. So if you subscribe, subscribe to it. There you go then. Uh, where is the bell? That's interesting. I've never seen anyone do it on the uh, phone before. Well, yeah, there is, isn't there, somewhere? Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you anyway. I just pulled up to see Gaz there on a job. And um, 
first thing he said when he climbed on it, well, he, lo he loved the look of it, but the first thing he said when he climbed on it is, bloody hell, there's some heat coming off that exhaust. I'm going to go and get a big fat burger from CMC. I know CMC is shut, as are all the other shops, but I'm pretty sure there's a uh, burger van parked up outside it. And I'm very hungry. On that note, I don't even know if I've got any cash in my pocket. That'll be the height of agony if I pull up there and it's there and I get to smell the burger, take my gloves off, take my helmet off, reach into my wallet, no dosh. Has this got cruise? I don't believe it has. But, oh yes it has, it has got cruise. Real. I've seen it there, what a nail up. Uh, where is the bud? Ah, so. Press it and press it again. It's good. Straight as an arrow. Oh, I love bikes that do that. It's very, very quiet when it's uh, ticking over. It's ticking over at a thousand. It's normally a touch over, over that, isn't it? Normally about 1200. Is the wagon there or not? Yes, now I've just got to find some dosh in my pocket. Please have some money. Where is it? Come on, lucky wallet. Yes, I've got a tenner. <laughs> That's it then, burger time. I'll be back in a minute and we'll enjoy the burger together. I mean, look, big fat double cheeseburger with bacon and a cup of tea. You beauty. I'm going to enjoy this. I don't know what to start first. Oh my God, that's amazing. Well, I've got to say, that was probably the nicest burger I've ever had. Bacon double cheeseburger with onions and a bit of Tommy K washed down with a cup of tea. Keyless ignition. When you turn it on, watch what it says. Watch. Good afternoon, Richie. <laughs> hey. I love silly things like that. Right then. Let's go for a ride on this beautiful, beautiful, cool bike. I'll tell you something folks, I am getting really tired of all this tear bollocks, are you? Really getting me down now. Especially since I've had it. It's getting on my nerves. Can I turn that round a bit to make it a bit better? No, a little bit better. Sure, it said it was only going to be a high of four today. Feels a lot warmer than that, though. Well, we're just one bar off a full tank, and it says we have uh, 100 miles remaining. It's this exhaust that's keeping me warm. <laughs> the styling on this bike's stunning. Turning some heads and all. Just the Steve McQueen thing, innit? The uh, Great Escape. What a stunning bike. Oh, I want to go up there, I want to go up there. Didn't, didn't uh, execute that very well, did I? Sounds lovely. Yeah, she does go well. Loads of torque. Leave it in third. 20 mile an hour. Yeah, pulled straight out of it. Lovely. Oh, wow, traction was split spinning then. It is a bit greasy. It's a very comfy bike, this is. I don't know um, how far you could 
ride before your bum were not comfy but that seat is lovely feels lovely it is soft though so usually squashy seats don't uh, translate very well over over time and miles it's not quiet it is oh spin it back in and again yeah it's very greasy today there's a lot of juice coming through that back end with it being a, a 1200 a 1200 lump I love how tall it is I know nothing of its stats yet as usual I just jumped on it it was delivered on Monday today is Friday and today is the first time I've even turned it on uh, shall we go folks shout up quickly first right or second right come on come on I'm waiting I'm waiting first right it is then Up here. Yeah, I've got to say, it's winter time, folks, and my right leg is on fire. My right calf, it, 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 the position of it is right on the exhaust. A little vented cover over it, so it's not like directly touching it, but it's very hot. Let me just check something. That's beautiful. Triumph do some lovely, lovely, lovely looking bikes. Oh man. Oh yeah. Slippy. I very nearly slipped then folks. Well I did slip. The um the uh, foot pegs not very not very grippy. Yeah it's ticking over bang on a thousand lot. But I can tell it's a bit lower, a bit slower than normal. Road less travelled with grass in the middle. <sighs> Fresh air. Well, I've got to say, I love it. Lovely upright position. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Well, that's where I took some decent photos of the VFR in the summer. In fact, folks, I have just included that one of those photos, the hay photo, the VFR, in um, the Wildbad calendar. Next year's calendar. 2021 calendar. On sale now! Very limited number and all. So when they've gone, they've gone. I'm not printing anymore. Get yourself one for the man cave. Didn't do one last year because of either being too lazy or just not having time to um, collate the correct images. Well, I've done it this time, so they're all ready, ready to be uh, shipped. Sun's that low, I can't really bloody see either. Right, folks, a couple of times I've stood up, isn't it just an observation? Standing up on these pegs, I don't know if it's my boots or what, but I've slipped off the pegs a couple of times. It's like the rubber and the, the serrated, you know, like the metal serrated bit to give you grip. The rubber stands above the serrated bit, so... Uh, it probably is to do with my boots, but you know, I've got proper biking boots on. But um, yeah, I've slipped a couple of times. Worth noting, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you something, this is an absolute pleasure to ride. I definitely hope to be bringing you more videos. I've got it for another couple of weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. I know I said that about the rocket and I was gutted that um, COVID put a stop to that. I had the rocket sat there in the garage and I couldn't touch it. It was just sat there for a couple of weeks doing nothing. So I couldn't ride it because I got COVID. Anyway, um, 
that's d done and dusted now hopefully and um, yeah like I said I've got this for another couple of weeks and I definitely hope to get out and um, once I know a bit more about the bike to do some more in-depth stuff well yeah just uh, as a real world real person rider point of view it's a stunning bike feels great I'm a bit concerned about that um, the slippy slippy pegs though with it being an off-roader it's got the 21 inch front wheel for off-roading um, so you're gonna be on your pegs a lot of time aren't you but concerning if they're slippy I say it's, it's probably something to do with my bike boots but I've just got my summer you know my summer um, you see them but I've never slipped on any other pegs so can't be to do my boots can it it's definitely got loads of poke great brakes got all in suspension Brembo brakes yeah brakes are superb actually got all your different rider modes it's got um, rider so you can uh, program it to however you want rider rain road sport and off-road so five different rider modes which is pretty cool I've not had a play with those yet I'm just in sport mode it's got a load of character definitely got a load of character my right leg now look is on fire God, it's, it's actually uncomfortable to sit there ow yeah it's uncomfortable to sit there like that if you were in um, a hot country touring you'd uh, I think you'd have a little moan about that but would you tour on it probably not there we go folks just a little video to let you know who's the newest addition to the wild bad stable there'll definitely be more especially when i get to grips with it don't forget wild bad calendar is now on sale when they're gone they're gone we've got some new stuff coming on the website as well new uh, merchandise just in time for crimbo <sighs> which is a greasy greggy day to day pleasure to ride Sounds great! <laughs>